Dallas of Auburn Hills, and the Pistons lead the Lakers 79 to 66. Game one of the 1989 NBA Finals, and this is the story on the Detroit bench. Isaiah Thomas's hamstring has tightened up, and their trainer Mike Abdenauer is trying to loosen him up. It is a story I'm sure the Pistons are concerned about, and one that we will follow throughout this final court. Let's go back to you, Dave. Nonetheless, Isaiah Thomas has 24 points and a brilliant all-round game tonight for Detroit and certainly the key to all the great things they've done. But the Lakers have scored the last seven of the third quarter. Now, if they're going to make a run, it could come in the first four minutes. That may be their best opportunity. And a foul and a free throw situation as Vinnie Johnson picks up his second. Number 50, Vinnie Johnson. See, every time, Dick, that they hit Worthy down inside that area, he's getting a nice shot attempt. And since he's been taking his time, he's been getting hit and going to the foul line. He had a very slow start tonight, hit only one of his first six shots, and yet has 16 points to lead the Lakers scorers. Thomas with the hamstring taped up. He's stretching. Don't forget, his left hand is also tender. People have, like, touched it, and he's winced. So he's not 100%. Worthy misses the second free throw, and the Lakers are really hurting themselves by missing from the line. But it's a 12-point game now, and goaltending is called against Woolridge, but they let Vinnie Johnson get in almost unmolested that time. Well, Orlando could have picked him up at least two steps above where he did, and Vinnie never would have been able to get that shot off. So the lead now is 14, where the Lakers had a chance to cut it to 11. Detroit knows that the Lakers can so, so quickly. Offensive foul, L.A. While James is complaining, Dick, he's feeling that he's being roughed up in the post, but all night long. Now watch how hard Rodman's going to work over the top. You see, first of all, he took the forearm, but then he retaliated right into the throat area of Rodman. Vinny Johnson in the area he likes to be in. Gets the basket. You can't let him get that close around the paint. Hey, I'll tell you, the microwave has been in there all night, Dick. Campbell going to the hoop, gets the basket in the foul, and Tony Campbell is clawing and fighting his way in a valiant work off the bench tonight for the L.A. You can see Chuck, he's, Chuck Daly right now is feeling the frustration. See, this guy right here is a scorer. He was a big scorer at Ohio State. In, uh, in the Big Ten, and then, and all the uh, club teams that he played with in the Continental League, he was a 20-plus score. So he has that mentality. But Bill Musselman, who will coach Minnesota Timberwolves in the expansion in the NBA next year, really had him concentrate on defense, and that rounded out his game. I buy that. He, he's very good. Good football. Vinny Johnson, wild shot, and turns it over to the Lakers. So right now, this game hanging in the balance. Not so much that the Lakers were the threat to take the lead, but they're down by 13 and a lot of time to go, and this is a crucial sequence for L.A. What you said is true. A lot of time. Anything can happen here now. This is a very explosive basketball team. If you're Chuck Daly. You're a little uptight here right now. Looking for Michael Thompson with six on the shot clock. Offensive foul. How many of those offensive fouls have been called against the Lakers tonight? It seems like half of them have been that way. Well, you know what happened that time? See, Pat Riley is on the referee, Jake O'Donnell. What happened that time was as Michael Thompson went behind the backboard, he jumped right back into the chest of the defensive player. Four fouls on Thompson. Cooper and Kareem also have four, and Abdul-Jabbar spent a lot of time on the bench. Now this is where it's got to happen defensively. Sally from the corner. Well, they negated that one kind of fast. Sure did. 15 point lead. Two minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. And another offensive foul. The sixth call against the Lakers tonight. And the foul against Woolridge is his fourth. The Lakers just can't get out of the quicksand. The story thus far, the Lakers, because of Detroit's superlative defense, held seven percentage points below what they normally shoot. 
Detroit really doing the job from their backcourt. And when they do, they win, and they have a 20-point edge from the guards. Byron Scott out of action, and again, Detroit with a huge rebounding edge. Well, Dick, it's very hard to get a high shooting percentage if you don't get out on the break and get those easy layups. And then they take away no second shots, because when you get the second shots, they're usually inside six or eight feet. It's a high percentage shot, plus you get fouled. Game one, best of seven for the NBA world title, and the Lakers are looking to make it three in a row. Their search for the triple crown here at the Palace of Auburn Hills, Michigan. Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown. But every time the Lakers have made any kind of a semblance of a run, the Pistons have answered it dramatically. You know what, though, Dick? Let's look at the foul shooting. If they did anything at all on the foul line tonight, they would really be in close striking distance. Great point. Magic Johnson is back in for the Lakers. Trapping. He's got Cooper along with Michael Thompson, Woolridge, and Campbell. Three on the shot clock. Vinny Johnson. He's done that all night going away from the hoop, Hubie. It's just a great athletic move because he's going to his left. He's drifting in the air and then changing the shot release. And Woolridge fights his way in and gets the basket in the foul. And Orlando Woolridge with eight points. James Edwards with his fourth personal foul. Just watch how Vinnie Johnson, he knows the clock is down. He elevates with two on the clock. There's the fade and the adjustment as Magic Johnson almost gets a shot clock. Woolridge with the three-point play. 87 to 73, still a lot of time as you see. 14-point game. Cooper on Dumars. Magic leaves Vinnie Johnson and gets burned. The guards have been on fire since we've thrown up the ball. 51 points by the three guards for Detroit. 51 of their 89 points from the three guards. Woolridge, Short, Rodman. One of Pat Riley's creeds, when you're on the road, shot selection and defense must get it done for you. Again, penetration by Detroit, Vinny Johnson. He has 10 points already in this quarter. Timeout. Let's just appreciate number 15. Watch the penetration. Now the explosion. Look how he takes on the shot blocking ability. Beautiful. And no one on the Lakers to unplug the microwave. Well, the finals can be fun for those in it, but Yubi Brown asked Pat Riley, the Lakers coach, if this is fun for him. You know something, Yubi, uh, this is misery. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Huh? You can relate to that. I mean, everybody looks at it from outside, and they see, uh, you know, World Championship Finals, you know, glamour, and, you know, CBS and national recognition. Let me tell you, the, the participants in, in this kind of matchup when you're playing for all the marbles, is just the waiting to get to the competition is excruciating, first of all. You would love to play seven consecutive games in a row <laughs> every other day, survival of the fittest. Uh, but it's tough. There's not any enjoyment. You